Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Tech Talk session. In this video, we're gonna cover multi-cloud, uh, which is nothing but Microsoft Azure, AWS, and Google GCP databases. So let's explore what databases that are available in these three different cloud platforms. And if you look at the screen, so we have all three uh, 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 you know, cloud accounts already a subscription logged in. And you can see, so we'll start exploring one after the other or uh, it can be simultaneously, okay? So now uh, quickly uh, look at the um, the AWS, okay? So if I go to the services, and if you look at the databases here, okay, so I have RDS, DynamoDB, Elastic Cache, Neptune, Amazon QLDB, Amazon DocumentDB, Amazon Keyspaces, Amazon Timestream. So these are the various databases that are listed under the Amazon service. Similarly, if I go back to the uh, Azure, um, Microsoft Azure, if I go ahead and click on the databases, I see a bunch of databases like the other options like you know Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL, Azure SQL databases, Azure database for MySQL servers, PostgreSQL, SQL, similarly for MariaDB, and it's uh, and also the SQL Server, Synapse, uh, Synapse uh, Analytics, uh, Database Migration Services, Azure Cache for Redish, Stretch Databases, Data Factories, Virtual Clusters, Elastic Job Agents, Elastic Pools, Managed Databases, Managed Instances, SQL Server Registries, SQL Virtual Machines. So I see there are a lot of options available when compared to the AWS right and let's see now in the Google platform what databases we have and if I scroll down here so so these are the database engines like I can see uh, big table data store file store memory store spanner and SQL so I'm very excited to look at the the SQL options so uh, in in Google Cloud, similarly, uh, I want to explore the same thing um, in um, let's see. So uh, Athena and DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a new SQL uh, database. So click on DynamoDB. And similarly, if we go here and go to the um, SQL databases. Okay, so uh, in the Microsoft Azure, so um, I'll just click on uh, add. Okay, and let's see what options it will give uh, while adding SQL database. All right, so this is in the portal. So this is like, you know, uh, it's asking for the subscription resource group database name and it's asking for the server so we don't have any SQL server so uh, it's asking for the server name and everything where it will create uh, server name dot database uh, database windows dot net and you can also select the um, the server look the server region okay so so this is what uh, it's asking guys quickly go and uh, look at the GCP so uh, it's, it's you know cloud uh, instance are fully managed so uh, it handles all replication patch management and database management to ensure visibility so and performance that's what it's saying so if i click on uh, create instance so it's asking which version you want to use use uh, microsoft sql versions 5.6 5.7 8.0 uh, post grill sql which version like 9.6 10 11 and 12 and sql version 2017 so if I click on choose SQL Server, so let's see what uh, uh, options uh, it will give here while provisioning the uh, SQL database in, in Google Cloud. So it's asking for the instance name, so it's, it's already picked up the, uh, the database version, machine type, storage, uh, network throughput, uh, disk throughput, um, read and write it's giving. Um, so here uh, you can generate the, uh, you can just type in the instance ID, the password and the uh, region and the zone so by default it's taking four cores and 26 gb of memory and if you want you can change the versions here and you can also uh, change the um, uh, this queue that is the uh, the, config the server configuration 
Similarly, you can also change the, uh, the storage capacity here and also you can change the encryption is like Google managed or uh, customer managed key. Uh, the connectivity part, private or public and the backups and high availability, automatic backups availability, uh, maintenance, labels and etc. So I see there's pretty much uh, a lot of features here when compared to the, um, uh, you know, uh, so when compared to the Azure here, because um, I'm not getting any any option to uh, to select a server here or anything, but here I think um, I'm getting a lot of uh, um, options here when creating a SQL Server instance. Um, in the backend server too. So this is uh, pretty pretty nice. And if I go back to the um, um, the thing, so amazon uh, dynamodb you know that it's it's a, a flexible no, no sql database service for our applications so here you can directly go ahead and create a, a tables here instead of you know creating um, a database so that that uh, itself will take care uh, by the aws so you have to just uh, ready get your data and insert the data that's it in the in the in the, in the db table so um so default settings is provisioned by you know set to five reads and five writes, and uh, there is no uh, uh, secondary uh, indexes, and uh, you know it's the encryption is at rest with default encryption type. Okay, and uh, but however uh, you can uh, you can you know um, change these options. So now you understood right. So uh, if someone wants to um, let's say a relation database RDS. This is this is very uh, 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 you know excited um, for me because uh, I'm, this is the first time I'm exploring three different cloud vendors and you know showing uh, um, you know all that. So you can see that here, guys. If you look at the Amazon uh, Aurora, so it is a MySQL and a PostgreSQL compatible enterprise class database. You know uh, supports up to 64 terabytes of auto scaling storage capacity and uh, six-way replication three availability zones and 15 low uh, uh, latency read replicas which is like you know uh, which is huge man so if i go to the databases here i mean i don't have any database so I just click on create database and let's see what uh, uh, options that is giving so it's asking a standard create or easy create and it's it, this is the various databases that engines we can use like amazon aurora or uh, mysql mariadb postgrel oracle or sql server so I want to select the uh, MySQL server so and see and it's also giving the additions uh, which edition you want to use uh, being the latest they have 2019 that's pretty good okay and um, license included so it's saying database instance identifier so this is the uh, the naming and the credentials uh, okay so this is the uh, DB instance size so um, uh, you, we can have a uh, you know we can change to uh, four to uh, four CPU and sixteen GB RAM, and we can also change the uh, general SSD or uh, whatever it is the allocated storage size. We can increase, enable storage auto scaling. Maximum storage threshold is uh, thousand uh, GB, and you can also have you will also get the connectivity type uh, default VPC or create new one, and the uh, authentication uh, enable. Windows authentication along with the SQL so it's also showing the uh, monthly cost so which is a good thing uh, let me see whether if we are getting the same thing um, in uh, GCP are we getting a cost somewhere no we are not getting a cost here while creating the database the same thing with the Azure I believe Azure also will not give uh, any uh, you know the pricing related here only um, only the uh, AWS is giving the cost so that's the major difference but but I think um, uh, the looking at the the user experience I really love uh, uh, AWS and uh, you know and Google instead of you know um, of the uh, the Azure so my ode goes for the um, AWS and um, and Google uh, while creating this SQL uh, server, so if I go and uh, I created it for um, let's say SQL servers, get new one. 
same thing you can see administrator it's asking for the uh, server name the administrator account the next thing is the networking additional settings tags review but it's not giving the additional features what we're looking like you know all these settings um, similarly um, here in the um, this is which pretty this is pretty cool I uh, as far as I know so guys uh, this is uh, this is the um, have uh, you know um, you will create the uh, the SQL uh, databases in multi cloud so hope you understood the uh, the basics now I think now you can just go ahead and create um, the, the databases on your own either it's Microsoft Azure or AWS or GCP so similarly uh, uh, we'll be creating a lot of videos on the uh, VM instances how that will be uh, in, in in Azure or AWS or GCP similarly for the storage similarly for networking and the backup so guys uh, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for more tutorials on multi-cloud thank you so much for watching and have a nice day ahead bye for now